Hi, welcome to Between the Sheets, where we get under the covers on some fabulous issues. Today, joining me in bed is Michael Wheeland and Kirsty Webeck. Hi, guys. Hello. Thank Hello. you for joining me. The topic we're kicking off with is AFL. Is it finally time for us to care about footy because of that Pride match? The answer is no. <laughs> <laughs> Quite frankly. Do, let's no. start with, do any of us care about footy to begin with? No, absolutely not. I have like a 23% care threshold. I was that football. person that grew up in a family mm -hmm. of um, Melbourne and North Melbourne supporters, so obviously I went for Brisbane. Um, the Brisbane Bears, because I liked um, koalas, and that was my decision for following <laughs> football. Yeah. So, I mean, it's interesting. We've got the Pride match. Um, when this is being filmed, the Pride match mm -hmm. hasn't happened yet. But there's a lot of buzz and a lot of excitement and a lot of people saying, You've got to go, and, and isn't this a huge step in so many ways? Um, are you guys feeling it? Well, I think I think that the, the message and the anti-homophobia message is is obviously massive. amazing and massive, and I would go to support that. Yeah. To support the message, um, it's not going to make me a season ticket holder <laughs> for the Carlton Club, though. Yeah. <laughs> like it's simply not. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's an important match, but it's. Yeah, like you said, it's not about rallying, let's get the gays along to the football, like bring in a new generation, bring in a new group of people. That's not what it's about. It's about showing support for the GBTIQ community and making them feel safe in those spaces. Because a lot of people that are queer do already follow the football. Absolutely. But some of them don't feel safe in those spaces. Like I have friends that go that don't go as regularly because of the, the hatred and vitriol and throwing of things and shouting and you're this and you're that yeah, and stuff. So yeah. it's about making that, that space safe for, for everyone and where everyone can go and enjoy watching guys run around in little shorts, which Absolutely. I think is the most important I mean, thing. probably you not as much as Yeah, us. I mean, that's, yeah. Yeah, that's not going to be the thing that lures me into it. <laughs> Look, I mean, I think it's absolutely fantastic that we're having it and there's this kind of basic national scale talking about pride and equality. The fact that we have that is great, especially something in relation to AFL. Personally, I'm hoping on the night they upgrade, like, the chips to something a little bit more fancy. Maybe like what? some So, well, crinkle cut would be good. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. You know keep, it, keep it interesting. Dirty yeah. chips. Dirty chips, mm, you know, just uh, just upgrade cheese. everything. I, and I've got to admit, um, I was at the pub the other day, and a guy was walking around in his rainbow St Kilda scarf, and he was a massive St Kilda supporter, and he was very excited. And for him, this was huge. And and I sometimes feel like I miss out because I'm not one of those AFL people. So I'm like, eh, I, I don't I don't quite get all the excitement and buzz about it. But it's sport, and people like playing sport. Yeah. But it is great that we have that that kind of kind of conversation. Definitely. And that there's going to be rainbow marks and like I mean I never thought we would have something like that. No, you know? it, it's incredible. It really is good, and hopefully it keeps the dialogue rolling as well. Mm. Yeah. I just never. I mean, even as a kid, did you think we would experience this kind of a thing? Absolutely not. No. 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 When I got dragged along to like little lats, I'm not the lats. The um, athletics. Little <laughs> athletics. I was getting, <laughs> the sports ball, Dean. The sports ball. Um, no, when I got taken along to the Oz kick and stuff, it just didn't feel like a space that I was accepted in, no. and and I didn't feel included. It was the boys club and everything was footy pie, footy pie, beer, footy pie. It wasn't, and I've never wasn't been a space. fan of those pies. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> never, ever liked those pies. They just haven't given me the flavour I wanted. I was that kid that would go to the footy with my family and I would take a little Doctor Who book and I would sit there reading a Doctor Who book which, and we'd be in the members section so it would always drive people crazy that um, you know there was just this kid sitting there, what a waste of receipt, <laughs> just reading a book, didn't care about the game at all. That was before I realised you know puberty and the perv factor right. and by then my parents had given up on paying for the ticket so I just watched that from home. Just watch it from home. You know watch a whole other factor but I, I'm loving seeing the energy and everyone being so excited about the fact that this is going on. On. Yeah, and hopefully once it's once the conversation keeps going, that dialogue continues. Like you said, it'll have a positive outward effect on conversations around other things, like the the plebiscite. Mm, well, who knows? <laughs> it, one thing I do think is funny is that you know uh, some of my straight friends think it's like a Mardi Gras versus Midsummer thing because it's it's St Kilda and Sydney. Can we have that? It's kind of. It, they, <laughs> yeah, I love that. I will watch that. Why are we doing that? <laughs> but I love that that you know some straight people feel like it's it's this whole you know the classic Melbourne Sydney rivalry. We're like, oh, we didn't even think of that. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, we're just in it for the glitter and, you know, like, yeah, yeah. looking pretty at these events. Yeah, it's just another yeah. reason to drag the feather bowl out. Oh, exactly. <laughs> I am I am very excited to, to see what kind of shazamming fabulousness is going to happen yeah, at the footy. Yeah. I think it's going to be very impressive, but those stilettos are going to be a problem on the field. They are. It is going to be a bit of an issue. <laughs> We've had a bit of rain. It's going to be... <laughs> <laughs> I, I, well, so, so... I'm just... I'm, 
You go for Carlton, is that what you were saying, footy-wise? No, no, that's, that's just, just I mean, I was just in Carlton this morning. and, <laughs> and So I and guess I, you go for Carlton Yeah, now? I, mean, I, yeah, I, I vaguely <laughs> recalled that that was the name of one of the teams. Yeah, well, so there you go. It, it was the first one that popped in. No, it's, I mean, I didn't grow up in Melbourne. Oh, well, that's true, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, I didn't even know what the acronym stood for until recent months. So, what do you reckon the, the, the next level of a Pride match could be? I want a tennis one. A tennis Pride match? Yeah. Okay. I, I reckon a tennis one would be really cool. It's a bit more of a different sport. Yeah. But, you know, I, I think the, the tennis ground's a little bit more accepting already. Oh, I think yeah. it'd be nice to have a Pride cricket round. Just think of the Pride outfits. Cricket. Like they need to white spruce up boring. the white. They need to spruce up the white. They could have actual rainbow yeah. uniforms. Yeah, that'd be that nice. That would be pretty cool. My problem with that though, I find cricket quite boring. I've only ever actually gone to a game once and that was for a mate's bucks and none of us paid attention to the game. It takes forever. It's boring. It takes It's so, so boring. Yeah. At least the footy's going to be sharp and fun yeah. Yeah. and intense. People are running around. You know, things are being done. Running, yeah, balls yeah. getting kicked, handballed, you know, but the cricket's just... Oh, Even avid forever. cricket supporters Don't describe it as boring. boring. <laughs> when like they'll be like, I won't miss a game, but oh, it's so I'm boring. Yeah. I'm not <laughs> yeah. even paying attention. Yeah. yeah, but you could. I reckon it'd be really easy to spruce up the baggy green, like mm. the hats they wear. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, nice fedora. Yeah, maybe. yeah. yeah. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. Just a little bit of colour. Yeah, yeah. A little totally. Bit, you know, and the feather boa. Feather, feather boa. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, 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 yeah well, that, it goes without saying, doesn't it? <laughs> it's what we need. <laughs> yeah. It's great that we've, we're having sport create this kind of conversation. It's great that we've been able to have Pride move away from what we normally do. Yeah. Um, I'm certainly looking forward to seeing where the next level is. You know, whether it's sport or not, mm. I think it's going to be a whole lot of fun. Yeah. Well, thank you for having a chat about football when none of us care about football. <laughs> yeah, it's been a pleasure. In with me. It's an I expert think, panel. I think, yeah, an expert <laughs> panel of people who know nothing, mm. talking about nothing. Uh, this has been Between the Sheets. Thanks for joining me.